What up everybody? I am Lou and in this video I'm gonna show y'all how to unlock a Excel workbook. So I made a video a while back over how to unlock an Excel worksheet and I got a request you know somebody asked me hey that method does not work for workbooks can you show us how to unlock workbooks? So I told them yeah let me see what I can do. So this is what this video is for. I'm gonna show y'all if you, you come across a workbook, an Excel workbook that's is password protected. This is how you can unlock it. Excel workbook protection is a joke, man. It's a it's a big big joke. I don't get it. I don't know why people do it. Um, doesn't make sense to me because when you know what I know is very easily hackable. You want to call it. Um, nevertheless, you know people do it, and as long as people keep doing, I'm gonna keep un locking it it is what it is so let's get started all right so i have this excel worksheet uh, workbook just call it sample let's go ahead and open that up right quick again nothing special pretty straightforward right just basic right name a gender doesn't matter you could tell there's two worksheets i right click it everything's visible i could delete if i want to you know, that's no problem. I could add, you have the ability to do anything, right? Nothing is locked in this worksheet, which is why everything just works the way it's supposed to work. So let's go ahead and protect it. So keep in mind, you could protect a worksheet and a workbook. They're not the same thing. And I'll explain to you some of the big differences. So let's protect this workbook. Oops. All right, so now that I have my workbook protected, one of the things that you will notice is, well, I can still type, right? I mean, I can still type data in these cells, but what you can't do in this case, everything's grayed out. You cannot delete the work tab, the worksheet. You cannot rename it. You cannot move it, copy it. There's a lot of things that you just can't do um, because it's protected. Um, you know, so again, any, anything related to the work, um, the worksheet, right? If you're going to put VBA in a worksheet, that's still valid. You can still do that. But anything that relates to the workbook, you cannot do. So that's kind of the main, main difference in this case. Um, so let me go ahead and save it. I'm going to go ahead and get this saved. Let's close out of it. So I'm going to just go to your, um, your text editor that you may have. Um, all right, so just go to your text editor. You know, I use Visual Studio Code. I love it. I have another video talking about it. I'm a big fan of it, but nevertheless, pick whatever you have. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new file. I'm gonna just call this Excel PY. So in this project, we're gonna use the Open PY Excel library. Um, for Python. So this library, just kind of high level, it's a library that's used for reading Excel, creating Excel files, updating Excel files, just anything related to Excel you could do. So we're going to use this, um, like this package. So let's go ahead and bring that in. Um, open, I'm going to import in the load workbook. So this is a method to actually load your, your work workbook. Um, let me specify the the file right that I'm we're trying to read uh, directory file pass and this is actually located in the same place on my file so I'm just gonna call it from there. Um, all right, so now I have that in place. Uh, next, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna end up um, loading it. So let's get this loaded. I'm gonna call this workbook load workbook specify the past direct again the file path whatever yours is right i mean you can specify your the full path that you want to c drive etc etc mine i'm just calling it from where that so just kind of call it out so so the next before i write the next line of code um i want to just kind of clear out so 
Excel, don't know if y'all realize it or not, it's not a binary file, right? Excel, think of it, all it is is a normal text file that happens to be a zip XML file. So everything in Excel is XML. The settings, the configuration is all XML. That's how it matters. The coloring, when you add a coloring, uh, when you color a cell, when you add a formula, all of that being stored and managed in an XML uh, schema pretty much. And you have all your settings. So anytime you open it up in Excel, it applies those settings, the coloring, the formula, whatever. It just reads it what's in what's in XML and then apply, you know, X, the Excel application is able to take it and, you know, do what it's supposed to do. Uh, that being said, when it comes when you're dealing with security, there is an XML section for security, right? That ultimately specifies is this file work work is this workbook protected? Think of it like a well, yes or no. And if it is, what is the password? Then you apply the password and so on. What I'm doing in this case, I'm uh, open PY Excel has a a um, a method to um, determine those settings is this file password protected right is it locked um and you pretty much say true or false um i'm taking that and i'm applying false to it even though the file is password protected protected but i'm pretty much saying hey it is not so it's going to ultimately write that in the xml again i know i'm going down the weeds you know probably more than what i should i probably need to make a video about that to kind of go in more detail though what an Excel file really is underneath. Um, but just want to give you give you a brief, uh, brief insight into that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it workbook, security, load structure. This is where if you were applying a, um, a password, let's say if you're creating an Excel file, uh, use the open PY Excel, and, but you want to apply a password to your workbook, this is where you would specify put true but in my case it's not going to be true it's going to be false because i'm i want to say this is not password protected so what we're going to do is let's go ahead and now we're going to save the file so workbook save and in my case i'm actually overriding i'm going to overwrite the same file you create a new file if you want but in my case i do want to override the same file and then we're going to close the workbook that's it. Very simple when you think about it. You call your, your package, you specify your directory pass where your file that. Again, if I'm calling mine from the same place, but if you're calling, you wanna call it from the root location, then just kind of go through the home, you know, go through the, um, you know, call it the full pass, right? Whatever that may be, you know, again, it's up to you. But nevertheless, uh, I'm just calling it from where is that. Um, you're going to load this object ultimately right, into memory. And then you're going to specify that you want to change the settings, the security structure to false. Again, when you save it in Excel um, and password protected, this is actually true. All we're saying is that, hey, it's false. And then we save it and close it. And Excel doesn't know the difference, even though I do think underneath there is a password still saved in the Excel file, I think. But because we changed the setting to false, it doesn't know any better. You just see that like, hey, this is not password protected. So let's go ahead and run it. I'm gonna run it. All right, it is done. Now let's open up our file. So we take a look at it. R remember earlier, everything was grayed out. It's not grayed out no more. I could now come in here. I could delete the file if I want to. I could save it and it saves. Like there is no, I could do anything I want to do, right? Like, like normal. If I were to go to the review, it's not asking me to put in a password to unlock the file. It's it, it, the way it sees it as it has never been password protected. That's the way it's in, being interpreted here. Like just put in a new password because it doesn't have one. It's not locked. Again, when you take a look at it, this was not hard at all, man. It's pretty straightforward. I don't know why people password protect their workbook or worksheets. Personally, I think it's a joke. It doesn't make sense. But nevertheless, there are some people that do it because, and I think I think a lot of it is they don't know any better. They really think that it's password protected. Number one, number two, when they do password protect their workbook and worksheets, 
I do think for about 98% of the people that touch that file, they don't know how to unlock it either. Like they, they don't know the tricks that you want to call it, right? I don't think they're tricks, but the techniques better yet, what I just showed you around, they don't know these techniques. They don't understand how XML, how an Excel file really works, the inner workings of it. So for them, they're, they're screwed. But when you, ha when you know what I know, you could easily unlock it. Hopefully y'all found this video uh, beneficial. Again, this was a video that was requested by a, by a viewer. Uh, they requested this. If you have any issues that you're trying to solve like this or anything else, whatever it may be, right? Just kind of throw out some examples. How do I upload a file to SharePoint? How do I extract data from a PDF? Even basic, what I want to call basic scenario. How do I take data, load it to a database? Um, in the cloud or whatever. I mean, it doesn't matter, right? Just let me know. I'd be more than happy to uh, review it and make a video of it. Um, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. Again, I'm new to YouTube. I'm trying to grow my channel. I really want to help y'all out. Uh, I, I am going to, I do plan on making videos that's going to be touching over real world projects, right? Not this. Let's create a calendar. Let's create a game. I'm, I'm talking about real projects. Uh, that I work on because that's what I do. I have my own business um, and doing software development. So I want to share with y'all some of the projects that I have done for my clients and hopefully y'all could kind of benefit from it as well. Again, hit the thumbs up, hit, you know, uh, subscribe. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Peace.